All right, I have 16 cell combinations done. I have five left to do. This time we're gonna do zinc and steel, and then we're gonna do aluminum and tin. Now the zinc and steel, I'm gonna have to test chlorine last, because the chlorine is just gonna corrode up the steel plate to the point where it'll probably short out the cell. And taking these apart and sandblast them is, it takes a while, because they are a little difficult to make so they don't short out. The plates are really tight together and they have to be that way so they so they fit in my little my little container anyway let's get started all right zinc and steel in sea salt 0.65 adding power all right disconnecting Snap on a load. Dropping. All right, soda. Adding power. Yeah, right, disconnecting. Snap on a load. Back down. Peroxide, adding power. All right, disconnecting. Jeez. Potassium hydroxide, adding power. This one I might have to let charge a little. Oh, she's going to go all the way up. Oh, nope. All right, removing power. All right, we'll snap on a load. Huh. All right. Let's just do a test here real quick. 10 amp draw. Oh, nice. All right, let me charge this up a little bit. All right, just a note with the potash, after two minutes, it's holding around an amp. All right, sodium hydroxide. Devil's numbers, charging. bit yet. Alright, let me just disconnect real quick. Alright, I'll charge this up and come back. Alright, this sodium hydroxide is going to be pretty much like potash. Removing power. Alright, let's just... Do an amp draw. Okay. If it's anything different than a minute after, or an amp after two minutes, I'll come back. All right, coming back to chlorine on this one, as chlorine is going to trash the plates. So this will be the last test, adding power. All right, disconnecting. And I'm gonna charge this one up better too. All right, this one does not like to be charged. It'll get a little over a volt. I'll remove the power, it'll go negative and then creep back up to 10. And we're gonna switch it over to the uh, 10 amp setting. It actually picks up a little.
I'm going to try uh, reverse charging it. If anything happens, I'll record. Tin and aluminum in sea salt. 0 0.24, 0 0.25, adding power. All right, removing power. Dropping fast, snap on a load. All right, removing. All right, no good. All right, Coca-Cola, adding power. Shot right up there. All right, disconnecting. Just continuously drops. Put on a load. Oh, so it's not very good. Peroxide, adding power. Goes straight up. All right, removing power. All right, this is chlorine. I cannot do the hydroxides, so we'll be going to acid after this, adding power. All right, disconnecting. Oh, let's snap on a load. Oh, seems to be doing all right. Let's just let's switch this over real quick. All right, I'll charge this up a little bit better. All right, it's been a couple cycles. Let me disconnect this. We'll switch right over to the 10 amp setting. Let's see what we get. saw five. All right, come back after two minutes. All right, amazing. After two minutes, it's at two amps. It's really slowly dropping. But nice. All right, battery acid, and it's not like in the aluminum. That's for sure. Adding power. All right, disconnecting. Pinch on a load. Oh, not that good. All right, for the hell of it. Switch this over. You know what, I'll come back after two minutes, see what the amp draw is. All right, after two minutes, at 780 milliamps.